Hello and welcome back to Memoirs of the Cyclist um, video series. Could be a review, could be an update on some product. This is a blender, handheld blender. This is the brand. It's a, I don't know what sort of bloody <coughs> brand this is, but I purchased it from Amazon. Um, and it shows that it requires, it's a, it's a, sorry, it's an 800 watt uh, blender. If some of the information is here. It's got a horn knife, it's got a splash guard design as well. This handheld blender caught my eye because usually handheld blenders come with this model only. They don't come with this attachment, nor this or that. So before we take up any more time, let's just get into this unboxing and see what comes out of it. Uh, this is the video continuing with the unboxing. Um, Make sure you read the instruction manual before you start using it. I'm just going to, I had to flick through it before, so I'm going to flick through it again. Just to have an idea, there's one thing that caught out in my, to my eye was um, to limit the continuous use to one minute maximum. So basically it means you're supposed to only, well ideally use the blender for a continuous cycle up to a maximum of 60 seconds. So after 60 seconds, you should allow it to cool for another 60 seconds. And then after five cycles of one minute use, you're supposed to do a one minute rest and a large rest for 30 minutes. I don't know. The grammar over here doesn't make sense to me. If it makes sense to you, good. But I have never come across a blender, a blender machine that says you have to use it for one minute maximum. Seems like this is only for light use, even though you can see um, in videos <coughs> and stuff like that that you can chop meat and such products in this chopper bowl anyway this page shows how to use the blender this page shows how to use the whisk and then you've got the chopper holder as well that just holds it together did i miss one out there you go the chopper as well and q and a's it says why <coughs> there is um, an older for the first time when you use it um, why does the machine automatically stop because of the temperature control is switched on okay it says please stop the machine for a period of 30 minutes before use or if the if the blades are obstructed by large food materials that are stuck in between them and take them out cut them into pieces and then a few other stuff there's a processing guide here for example it's got meat it's got herbs nuts almonds cheese bread all of that so if it's got meat how are you supposed to chop it for one minute only anyway you got all of this stuff right there so whenever you buy it, or if you buy it, make sure you read through before you use it. Right, that goes away. Now, as you can see, it is laid out like this. I want to just take this out. What's this? This, I believe, is the main motor and the blender body. Yep, there we go. You can see it. Oh, it got stuck. Oh, it's not stuck. It's the plug. There we go. can see this is the branded one they branded it themselves and it's got a three pin UK plug lovely and now we will okay this is just a compartment that this is the blend main blending um, attachment so you can see it's got the fine blades over here looks like this you can see it to scale Alright, they've got similar size. Now, to attach it, I'm just going to go through it quickly. So we can see the inside grooves here. You simply line it up. I'm just going to fiddle around till it sits in. So it's lined up. and Let's see, is it clockwise? I don't know actually. Yes, it's clockwise. So under clockwise it comes off. And clockwise it sits nicely. So that's it, it's stuck. So now you can see that um, if I, it doesn't come off. If I try to force it out, you can't see the force, but it's not coming off basically. You've got two buttons here. You've got the turbo button and you've got, <coughs> I believe, the switch on button. And then you've got the power speeds. So I'm going to quickly plug it into the outlet and see what happens. Just bear with me. Three pin plug. 
and in it goes. Right. What happens when we press the what's this? The turbo, not turbo, the switch on button, but we leave it on um speed one. Let's see what happens then. So here you go. Let's turn this on. Okay. Maybe it's not good. I need to hold this because it will twist it by itself. All right, let's just let's turn the button, the knob to five, speed five. All right, and now let's turn it to speed ten. You can hear the sound difference. Let's turn it to speed fifteen. And now finally to twenty. So clearly you have to keep your finger on it or thumb on it. Otherwise it stops. Let's try and let's find that turbo. So turbo is straight twenty. That's what it seems like. Okay dogs now. Safety first, plug out and then attachment uh, unscrewed. Then attachment packed away because we want to do everything in a neat and orderly manner. Lovely. Now we have something else coming up. Let's see. What's this? So, unbox this part. Unbox this part. Okay. Now you've got further attachments. This is the largest attachment. Okay. This one is the most insignificant one because um, I'm not going to use it. It's simply the attachment where you uh, put the um, blender or the cup and chopper bowl together basically so yeah let's not go through that if it's time i'll go through it now time for the um i don't know what this is let me find out what this is again this is the it's the um, beaker right this is the beaker you can see it's been sealed quite nicely inside the box to prevent any oops, breaking these are my lovely cups, but um, I didn't see them in the box. All right, ideally, we should um, rip this open, but um, I'm just going to try and push it out. Yep, from the bottom, comes out quite nice. We can see we have our lovely whisk. It's nice and miniature. It seemed big in the box, but very small. Very, very small, actually, in comparison to what it seemed like. This is the um, ah. This is the uh, whisk attachment. Let's try this out. So back to the power. Put the attachment on. Oh, to the left is unscrewed and to the right is screwed on. And here we go. You can see the little usual whisk um, inserts. The grooves are there, and it's going to go straight in. A bit of force. And the click and it's there so let's see what it looks like on power one so oh i just switched the power on there you go it's spinning that's not a good sign that is okay i don't know what's going on over here okay this doesn't give me confidence let's put the power up to 10. Okay, and put the power to 20. Now, maybe these are too flimsy or what, but it goes a bit haywire over here, as you can see. Yep, it's simply going right, left, right, left. I don't know if the whisk attachment is bent or what, but we'll see. It looks straight. Don't know what's going on. You have to pull it out with a bit of force. Okay. I don't know, let's put this back in for now. I might have to return it and get another one. But for the time being, I'm just showing the viewers how it is. It seems to be fairly straight. Don't know what's wrong with it. Alright, in this goes. Okay, dogs. And put aside. Now we have the beaker. Lovely. Now for the beaker. You can make your smoothies, you can make whatever else you want. Or you can make your lovely milkshakes, you don't have to go to no cream uh, dessert parlors or dessert shops or whatever. For the 
speed car you have to use the blender attachment as you can see so let's try it out i'm not going to put anything inside i'm just going to see how it looks and how it feels so the plug goes back in not the power i did not unscrew the plug wires where they keep the cable ties on for safety right now the wire can extend nicely good now i've forgotten where i put the attachment right it's there so the blender attachment comes back out again for a tester it goes in and then a clockwise screw and then is something else required no and you have it shows you have to put the blender in a up upward and downward motion to ensure the ingredients melt properly not melt blend properly that's the word okay here we go so there's nothing to stop it from spilling out wait let me just check if there is in case no i think over there it's just the top attachment so there's no lid to ensure uh spillage but i did say splash proof okay um i don't know let's see let's see anyway this is how it would be yeah you press the button oh i'm gonna put the power on okay power goes on let's put it on 10 nice and safe all right so i have to keep my finger on the power button as you can see over here if i don't keep it on it turns off and here we go so this is the motion you have to do so if the ingredients are up to here you have to press it down firmly and then blend it all the way down all the way i don't think the blades touch the bottom hopefully not okay dogs that that will come off now so we've tested this out the next test we're going to do is going to be the um topper test but I need to just clear it up before I start the one. I'll be back very soon. And we're now back with the unboxing of the uh, chopper um, attachment. So it's the big one of it. Okay, let me pick this up first. And hopefully, it's supposed to be a tidy worktop, but I have missed it again. Right, this is the chopper attachment. Okay, how does it look? Let's see. Let um, just try the usual way. I did before pushing there from the bottom that works the return packaging fairly safe there we go perfectly safe now and we can go back to it for now all right so this is the chopper um attachment i wonder if it's sealed no it's not sealed oh right, here we go so here uh, here are you can see the uh blades this is the blade inside. This is made from plastic, not gloss. If I turn it clockwise, it open. Uh, sorry, anti-clockwise. It opens the attachment. Whereby you can take this out, clean it. I believe you can take this out as well. Oh, it doesn't screw on. This looks very flimsy. All right, I I don't know if I should recommend this product or what. Just it just it doesn't stay because I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. I don't know. Anyway, let's see. It has, it has um, rubber feet, but I don't know if it will stay. Let's see if it will stay in place. Nope, it runs. So clearly the rubber parts are not working when you're not holding it down a bit. You have to hold it down. Let's see. Mm, still not much. Now this goes back on, and this time you have to do a clockwise turn. First you have to find that balance where it sits in the grooves like so um right there the grooves are right here you can see click and it's shut in place it's not oh i made a mistake um align them so it's all sitting properly and then you have to make sure that goes into its place right there click and there we go okay so it shows us that you have to put the blades in then the food then the chopper um, lid and then you can attach the blender motor and switch it on let's see how it sounds and how it goes so this is the blender attachment the main part the motor and everything else 
you put it in and make sure you give it a little shake till it sits but it's, it's gonna come off so you have to make sure you twist it okay okay that was probably wrong all right it's it's this way all right now it stays okay and I would say always keep a firm hand on this part all right switch it on now let's try this okay so now we can see how the blades move I'm gonna press it again let's see how this goes so it's fairly fast but I don't know if it will okay that was a nice long press let's try again this is power 10 let's try power 1 okay now let's try power 20 Alright, the, the appliance isn't moving around when you're doing a high power or whatnot because, well, I assume there's nothing inside there. Um, so this is the unboxing, it's not a review, it's just to show viewers how this product looks, how it works, how it's packaged and whatnot. Um, am I pleased with it? I was with the price first, I was with the model and I was with the reviews, uh, but now I've got it, um, I don't know. It's, especially with the whisk, it's like shaking my confidence, you might say. The whisk itself shakes and it's shaking my confidence. Now, I guess what I will do is use it a few times and see um, how it goes. If I feel like it's something to recommend, I'll post another video and I will recommend it. Um, I will post some videos later on with food being processed. I will do some with either fruits. I will try with meat and chicken as well. But I've got a very horrible feeling that it may not go as planned. This bread attachment is really um, annoying because it doesn't... Well, I'm not supposed to move but it just comes off. It doesn't screw on. Maybe this is my first time using a blender like this. Maybe I'm not used to blenders. Maybe blender experts out there can... Correct me and say that this is how it's supposed to be. Okay, this is all going to get packed up now till I am ready to use it. So, thank you for tuning in and just wait for the next video or just drop in the comments when you'd like to see the next video. Okay, dogs, until next time to see this brand blender in action.